Hi, my name is Ikra. My name is also Ikra. I am currently 21 years old. So if my calculations are right, you are 25 years old right now, right? Yep, that's right. Wow, you look pretty old for your age. <laughs> nice to meet that's you. That's rude. You look younger nice to than meet your you age. Too. Okay, <laughs> make up your mind. I think I just said that to be nice. It's not like I know what a standard 25 year old would look like. Fair enough, yeah. I mean, I hate those questions when people are like, oh, guess how old I look? And I'm like, just tell me your age if you want me to know how old you are. So I am currently studying in the UK, Manchester Metropolitan University, doing a computer science degree. Hope I graduated. Did, did I graduate? Did, did I course. struggle? Nah, it was Uni easy. was so easy up until placement year. You hated placement year? You absolutely hated so, it. So, like I said, I'm doing my placement year right now. I absolutely hate it, Ikra. I absolutely hate it. I remember. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so glad you got out of We it. are resigning soon. Ooh. Currently, there are 32 days left. I count the number of days left every single hour because I hate it so much. Nice. So, the history repeats itself. You will be handing in your written resignation for your current job on 28th August, which is, I can't even believe it's like, I'm recording this and I'm telling the same thing to my older self. However, this job was quite nice. Uh, the company is way better, but it's just not aligning with the kind of lifestyle you want to live. So you've decided to resign. So congrats on resigning your placement here and congrats to me for resigning my current job as an iOS developer. Okay, fine, I'll stop messing around with my hair so much. God, you're so picky. What the hell? I didn't even do anything. <laughs> what is this bit? You are currently living all by yourself in this apartment in Macclesfield. This is the first time I'm actually living in a non soon accommodation just on my own. I quite like it actually. I like my personal space. Enjoying it. Yeah, I would say that like now this is the first time you're living in a house share. It's very similar to a student accommodation, but then you get more space, you live with other working professionals, so it's a bit different. However, the one criteria you had is like not to share a bathroom, so that's still like check mark. Another thing that you realized is you do not like carpeted flooring, so you only live in houses that have wooden flooring or non-carpeted surface so far you've gotten your f so far i still have my phone with me it's not been stolen on black friday do you still have use the same phone currently i'm using i not iphone currently i'm using one plus six uh so this is the phone Did you, you were get using your phone stolen again no you didn't but uh, now you're not. a iphone but user. you do want to get an iphone so oh you got it you got it you got it Whee! <laughs> I have no idea what I want to do with my life right now. I want to do YouTube, I want to do freelancing, own my own business, yeah. help the world, start a charity, donate money in a charity, but you don't have enough money for it. Actually, you do. You will donate because you can never have no money to donate to the charity unless you're actually zero dollars in your account. You don't, I have no idea what I want to do. Do you know what you want to do? Um, not really. However, you started doing this book called The Artist Way, which really helped you just start dreaming again, which you'd completely forgotten. And you have thought about pursuing badminton as a career, even though you're 25 right now and you've never played professionally. You, that's what you want to do. You want to become a badminton player, but all the other stuff is also true you want to be able to do youtube like a little bit of content creation on the side a little bit of freelancing teaching on the side own a business own a charity all of those are relevant but your main focus for the next 10 years is going to be a lot more badminton related and on top of that all these other things as a source of income in terms of health and fitness i currently purchased adjustable dumbbells I'm so excited about that. I get so much good use out of it. Absolutely love it. 
with the adjustable dumbbells that's insane i can't believe i got it four years ago and it's still with me not here because they weigh so much i didn't bring it with me back however you've leveled up your game so much when it comes to weightlifting you start properly going to the gym training under a personal trainer you were able to hit so many personal bests when it came to uh deadlift squats bench press and all the other weighted exercise so yeah you really enjoy weightlifting oh my god were we able to achieve the tone body that i always wanted do you look nah. fit that right now nah yes i am so happy for you this is what i've always wanted go ikra no so um i can relate to how much that ikra like what her mindset was and how ugly disgusting fat she felt just for existing uh back then i hadn't even opened up fully to therapy or realized that i i have a eating disorder and body dysmorphia so all of that was diagnosed and i have made a huge progress i would say i wouldn't go as far to say it's resolved but i've made a lot of peace with how i am focus on my strengths and my beauty just the way i am but also acknowledge there's always room for improvement when it comes to improving my health improving my fitness improving my nutritional goals and not look at it from a deprivation standpoint where i have to lose weight cut out sugar cut out carbs all of that bullshit nonsense thinking has gone away i just feel like my priorities in terms of health and fitness has changed so i do i like i can remember being that ikra and wanting this unrealistic almost malnutri- malnutritioned deprived body image which i thought would lead to peace and happiness which is absolutely not true uh so i feel very content with my body my mind and the way i am right now even though i look almost the same or like have the same body image body size weight as this 21 year old ikra uh but i think i've come a long way when it comes to thinking about health and fitness and lifestyle from a more holistic and loving and accepting mindset than whatever she was achieving or hoping to achieve in in the four years mm. <laughs> it's fine don't have to be so sad about it i'm not I sad i mean you're that. still alive right so just just go and get it done i'll get it done do it but for us. it's all very different now you won't understand <laughs> mm. it's fine but it's not that bad you still have time you're still alive yeah I don't think you'd make it to 25 and you're 25. Just go do it, Ikra. Do it for us. You've always wanted this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, I will try. I will improve on my health and fitness, but uh like yeah. Um let's talk about facts about 2019 and then you can share some facts that's happening in your time period. Okay. Oldie Okay, rude. <laughs> so, 2020 the environment is in a really bad state, but you know, because of the boomers. What, what am I saying? Millennials are millennials and Gen Z are trying to make it better, but we don't really know no, what to do. There's coronavirus that's going on. Some people think it's a conspiracy, government conspiracy, but like everyone thinks ev- not everyone some people think everything can be considered a conspiracy by someone so not to bother we all are going to die anyways you know like if i get the virus maybe that's how i'm supposed to die this video is going to be a total waste of time no one's ever going to see it but if you didn't get the coronavirus i mean everyone's going to die anyways right so there's no point thinking about if you're going to die True. I think people should worry about how they want to, how they have to live like more than how they're going to die. I think I just said it like it's such a casual thing to say, but I have really honed into the idea that 
death is an inevitable. There's absolutely no reason to worry about death. I understand and empathize with people that do fear death because I don't think I've seen anybody very close to me die. So maybe I'm like missing out on all that range of emotions. But in a very surface level, I understand that death is inevitable. So I want to focus a lot more on my journey towards dying and taking each day as it is and just enjoying it and creating these moments that I can cherish so that even if I die tomorrow or like in the next minute or in 100 years, every day was worth living until I die. Other than coronavirus, the UK finally left the European Union. Brexit happened. Okay. Um, yeah, you're not from here, so it didn't really affect you, but a lot of British citizens were sad about it. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> then in India, there's this whole NRA, NRC, CEA thing going on. Wonder what's going to happen to the Muslims in India. Politics is always really messy and bad, so hope things are better in that side of the world. I mean, in this era, there's hardly any good news in the world right now. It's all about killings, environment pollution, theft, drug misuse, scams. How's life in 2023 or 2024? 2024 um i think i mean i don't know what kind of news i was consuming i'm pretty sure it was all because coronavirus and uh nra i mean that's permanent bad news and good news is gonna always thrive in this world and especially like the bad in this world will always thrive it's a reality um and through instagram and i think i was following the news back then but now i don't i rarely ever read any news articles. I'm very ignorant in that way right now and very consciously ignorant, I think. I cannot avoid any of the bad news that I see on Instagram and that's a good thing because it lets me not live in a fantasy world where everything's ha happy and jolly. Right now, there's this whole rape case going on in Kolkata, the ongoing uh, killings in Gaza, whole of Palestine, that's been there from like when I was in high school trying to protest for things. But if I even try to think about all the good news that is happening, I guess Olympics could be considered one that happened recently. There are a lot of athletes and new sports that I got to see and even then there were like a lot of contro controversies related to the Olympics. However, that's like one good news that I consider uh, Lakshya Sen performed really well in badminton men's singles. Um, I can't really think of any other good news as such, but I'm aware that there'll be always good and bad. And just because I've made a personal decision of not being so proactively retaliating over any bad news, I don't think that is healthy as a society and everyone should stand up for the betterment of society in whichever topics fancy them. I don't, I, I again don't think everyone has to stand up for everything, but everybody should stand up for whatever issues they find close to their heart and they think they can make a difference. But in this moment, as a 25 year old, I think I've become a lot more selfish and a lot more in a very self preservation mode where all I care about is just bettering myself and my relations with mostly myself and very close people to my vicinity rather than the world as a whole. But I hope that changes in the next coming years. I know you've always struggled with weight and the way you look. Are you confident in yourself right now? You have are. you figured that out yet? Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Do your parents still pester you about your weight and your looks? No, you were able to confront them and now they are a lot more supportive and understanding of how your mind works. So they try to avoid bringing weight and looks into the conversation. Hopefully it would also extend to other relatives as well, but ugh, whatever. As long as my parents are supportive and they understand my, my struggles, 
that's all I can do. And you are so much more confident now. I cannot tell you how proud you should be of me. Uh, I can look at the mirror and be like, you look so good. You are so strong. You bring so much happiness to people's world. Uh, so yeah, that's that's been really exciting. Uh, and you don't really care too much about weight and looks. You can be beautiful and weigh whatever you uh, weigh. Uh, so that's been really good. There's been a huge improvement in that. So be proud. I hope I'm a confident woman right now. I mean, I've always been independent. I'm not too concerned about that. I know you can manage being independent. Yeah. But am I confident? There's always room for improvement, but I would say you're confident. So yeah, you should be happy. I'm guessing the class of 2016 WhatsApp group is still active. Absolutely and sad not. we've all like <laughs> gone to our old places and completely that's forgot about happened. each other. Yeah, that's what's happened. Uh, that doesn't exist. Any- it exists and it's barely active. Uh, but it was a I big really, thing really, back really, then. I really, 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 really hope you are happy right now in like whatever you're doing. If not, just quit, okay? Just quit and go figure out something else. I know you've always come up with different things that you want to do. If you're not enjoying what you're doing right now, just quit and find something else to do. It's not worth being unhappy. Take it from this 21 year old. (laughs) Nice, I needed to hear that. Uh, Yeah, I am quitting. I was regret, not regretting, but like overthinking about whether it's the right decision or not. But the truth be told, no matter how good the company is, how good the pay is, I'm not happy working a 9 to 5 job and I need to figure out something else in my life. So I will quit and I will, I am happy though right now, mostly because of badminton and just like a change in perspective that I've had in my life because of therapy and just like experiences. But yeah, good to know. Uh, I will take that 21 year old advice and will quit uh, and figure something out. Hopefully the next time we're recording this. Ikra, you're amazing. Please stop thinking you're not. Thank you. (laughs) That's so sweet. So far, I have traveled to India, Qatar, Dubai, not really, but sure. Um, The UK, Berlin, Germany. Have we visited any other new country or like any other cool places? Let me let me tell you about it. Wait, I'll see what you say and then I'll tell you all the countries that you've visited since then. (gasps) Did we win the Buffer Festival? Did we go to Canada? I no. really want to go to Canada. No, you don't. What are you saying? Or do I want to go somewhere else now? Yeah, exactly. I'm so fickle-minded. <laughs> okay, I don't know what this Canada thing is about. Uh, Buffer Festival? Oh yeah, back then I think I used to be obsessed with this creator called Daha. Um, so I was like, I need to go to Canada. I need to submit a submission for this Buffer Festival and that's how I'm going to meet him some nonsense but I completely forgot about that I have not been to Canada I wouldn't mind going to Canada but I've gone to so many more places since I came here solo traveling is my jam now Uh, so all those countries then you went to Spain you went to Portugal you went to Iceland don't you went to Iceland can you imagine that's been the best place so far but you went to Iceland all on your own amazing You went to France, you went to Croatia. I think that's about it. I don't think I'm forgetting any other countries. But yeah, you've gone to like these parts of Europe and Iceland. And you're going to Spain again. So you went to Santander. But this time you're going to Madrid and Valencia in October. So you are, you, I encourage you to travel as much. Back then you weren't traveling as much, obviously Corona, whatever, but Now you are a proper solo traveler and it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh my god, is your skin still sensitive? Like, you still have these rashes in your hand. It's not cool at all. 
I still have like nope. these a little bit, but my skin is doing pretty well. Way better than how I was during COVID times. So yeah. Good job on skin elevation. Ooh, time for some questions that I really want to know. It's yes. kind of meta. It's like, I wouldn't know until I am you. And then you'll be answering it from, for me. That it makes no sense, but that's how it's going to go. It makes sense. Go All on. for entertainment purposes. Do people still do this? Does it still exist? Like peace and this? Maybe. What's the new cool gang sign do, do people do? Maybe this, I think. That's my this. first question. But there I are more don't know. <laughs> questions which are better than that. Okay, let's okay. get to asking you some questions. Cool, let's go. Did we keep posting consistently on YouTube? I want to know everything about YouTube. Did you continue with YouTube? Did it grow? Yeah. Did you get monetized? Not yet. Um, or it went back? Did you make an apology video? Like, were you involved in any of the drama scams? Girl, you're not that relevant. Did any of the drama channels feature you? That Absolutely would be not. really cringy, dude. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid, okay? Or I hope you haven't done anything stupid till now. No, nobody cares. I mean, I might Don't have done do something stupid, skits. but... But, uh, yeah, nobody cares. And my YouTube game has been as consistent as it was back then. So pretty inconsistent. Yeah, I just post whenever I feel like. Back then, I feel like I wanted to be a YouTuber and like get famous and monetized. But now it's more like, it'll be nice to have like it, have it like a side hustle and earn money if I can. But I only post videos when I feel like uh, it's just like a source of creativity and outlet for my dark and good times. I don't know if I was live streaming back then, but I have started live streaming again. again live streaming now so it's a combination of live streaming and recorded content uh but very inconsistently how many subscribers do we have like currently we have oh, one i think today morning subscribers. i saw it was 888 which was a really cool number 888 subscribers 132 damn back then i'm sure i, I was like 132 subscribe oh one new person subscribed so right now it is 889 subscribers so i i'm sure i'm sure i'll reach monetization which is 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours um either by the end of this year or next year for sure for sure also you won i'm a creative vidcon vidcon contest that was pretty exciting oh my god do you wear makeup now no because currently your makeup routine is sunscreen that's basically it <laughs> have you started doing like fancy makeup nah so ma majority of my makeup is sunscreen still however it's been i did try to make a vi video of trying full face of makeup for the first time and it was just too many steps so i have borrowed some of the products from there uh, and introduced it to my makeup routine but i do have a really good skincare routine now which i'm very proud of because back then i didn't even wash my face so let alone any other product. The only product that I would use and I have consistently used is sunscreen, but I've introduced a few more products over the years because of aging. <laughs> uh, so makeup wise, I still use sunscreen. Then on fancy occasions, I do use a layer of primer and maybe concealer to hide the pimple marks if I want to. Otherwise, it's eyeliner, mascara, lip gloss, lipstick, Vaseline that's about it how does your hair look i mean i can see it but like did you do anything crazy over the years you had this uh fringe face i mean now it's a bit longer but it was kind of like getting prop bangs i'll insert pictures um maybe you cut your oh my god actually just after this, because of Wincon London, you went to a hairstylist to sh cu cut your hair shorter than that and they ruined it. So you had like a life existential crisis and then you cut it even shorter. So during Wincon London, you had the worst hairstyle ever, worst dressing style ever, but you managed through, get through it. So whatever, <laughs> but you have no idea what's coming to your life. Your hair looks so much better in that. However, it gets ruined within weeks and I'm so sorry about that. I have so many questions about future. Okay. Really, like, did we find the purpose in life? Uh, 
Not or yet. Jake. Did I figure out what I like doing? Badminton. Non tech, YouTube, non YouTube Badminton. related. Badminton. Are we back doing a desk desk job again? Sorry. Are we back at doing a desk job I'm so sorry. again? I'm so Do sorry. desk jobs even exist? It, is everyone working remotely now? Mostly, yeah. That would be quite cool. Or is it like the job sector is completely rev- revolutionized? I can never say it. Can you say revolutionary? Revolution, revolutionized, revolutionized, revolutionized. I am currently in the UK. Where are you? I'm still in the UK. Hey, uh, how is Suleiman, George, and Adriana? Oh, are you still friends with them? <laughs> okay, so Suleiman. Okay, so those three people. Suleiman, yeah, you still play badminton with him every, almost every Saturday. George, yes, you're still in contact. You always love talking to George, so that friendship is still there. And Adriana, oh my god. Um, Adriana is one person you miss a lot, but she's gone back to Malaysia. Hopefully, you'll get to meet her in Malaysia. Do visit Malaysia. But yeah, you maybe text her once in a blue moon on Instagram and then it's barely a conversation but she is still very much dear to your heart and she's the best flatmate you could ever have and I think you'll cherish her for the rest of your life so those th- three people you're still in contact with no broken friendships yet but it is what it is are you still the same I don't know, her you know like personality wise physical appearance wise you be the judge. Do you I don't know. figure? Do you have your life figured out at twenty five? Oh my god, dude! How many times do you answer, ask me that? I don't have it figured out, and I don't know if I ever will. And that's just how I live my life. Twenty one year old Akra has no clue what she wants to do. That's Did fine. you figure it out? It's okay. You don't have to figure it out. It's okay. It's okay to not have it figured out. How's the environment condition right now? I don't know. Did you suffer no any major injuries? <laughs> oh my god i did why would you say that i did i fell on my knee twisted my knee and for the past three four months i've been suffering with my knee injury and i cannot wait to be like before because i have been suffering with my knee injury i had to go through a knee surgery Oh my god, I just casually mentioned that. What the hell is wrong with me? But yeah, I did face a knee injury. (sighs) And I'm suffering still because of that. Are you still using OnePlus 6? Did you go back to iPhone? Yeah. Or are you still in the Android? Did you release any apps on the App Store or Google Play Store? No. But you work as an iOS developer. Are you a mobile developer now? You are, you are. That's right. Good prediction. Oh my god. (laughs) I'm kind of scared because like this 21 year old Ikra just casually mentions random things and then that's actually happening right now. <laughs> like the injury was so random and so unnecessary to bring up. Why the hell did she mention injury? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you did go back to using an iPhone and you are a mobile developer. Oh, this is taking so long. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Are you financially dependent? No. Dude, you have your financial I mean, games. Are you sorted. financially independent? Yes. Oh my god, are you Oh my god, oh my god, wait, wait, wait. I have to ask this. Okay. Are you married? I mean, I currently Nope. And in the thought process of like I've always wanted excited to be a mom. I wanna raise a child. Really? Really? But I'm not too keen about getting married. Oh. Okay. So like, do I still think the same? It's actually the opposite. Now you have like zero interest in being a mother, especially giving birth to a child from your vagina. Uh, but you don't mind the idea of getting married. So that's really interesting how you say it's the opposite back then. Why the hell do you want to be a mom? I don't get it. 
but yeah it might change you're very fickle minded at the moment but you're not married you don't have a child so that's that am i still excited to be a mom someday am i a mom am i married dude you're 25 right yeah i don't want to say anything to like offend you but um, i'm scared <laughs> are you married that's what i'm going to ask <laughs> What went through my head? I wanted her to say something. What the hell? Did you find out that you have any chronic disease? Maybe like ovarian cancer or any type of cancer because you always thought you were going to get can- cancer. What? Did people find the cure for cancer? I oh my. Why would I think I Oh my god. I'm that's so weird. Cuz like what if I actually do now? Why the hell am I being so sadistic about myself i don't should i get checked i don't oh, but no i don't have any type of cancer as far as i know how is everyone from high school are you in are you still in touch with anyone yeah are you still in touch with harry how is harry how is yes. anand malvika freddy okay so she mentions four names harry he's here in the uk with me uh, working in his own job we're still friends anand we kind of like Don't talk anymore, but I feel I still consider him as a friend. Malu, we're still like chatty buddies. Who else? Freddy, I think Freddy and I stopped talking. I think he got busy with his own life. I don't know how we stopped talking, but we kind of stopped talking. But yeah, he can still be considered a friend, but like not somebody I would talk to every day. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. What are you gonna say next, dude? How's everyone from university? Did you make more friends? Nah. Did you end up doing a master's degree, a PhD? Nope. Please tell me you stopped studying after bachelor's degree. Yeah. You're pretty adamant about that. Do you still doodle? Ooh, I'm gonna show you your doodle book. I hope you still doodle. You know, or like, what about mac macrame? What about macrame? Macrame. Did you start an Etsy store? You always want to do that. If not, pause this video right now. Go set up an Etsy store, and then come back to me. But if you did, how many sales did you get? Did you get even one sale? No. Are you like a big Etsy person now, or does Etsy not even <laughs> exist? Does YouTube not exist anymore? What are you doing? Huh? Hey, what? Stop it! Pay attention to me. What is wrong with this guy? Do you still like Taha? I mean, did you nah. meet him or have a conversation with him? Didn't did he reply to your email, or do you not even no, care about Taha anymore? Do you like someone else? Do you have any crushes? Not at the moment, no. You're just concerned about badminton. Do you have a boyfriend? I mean, I hope you're not married, but do you have a boyfriend? Do you have any crushes? No crushes. Uh, I did like this. Like this guy looked really good, so it was like more of a. crush from a distance person when i went to salsa lessons there was a really good looking guy um i think i have gone on dates since then uh had a boyfriend i think for a few months in qatar then took months to get over him then dated again and had like somebody else in a, like a situation ship so i've had i think two partners since then but nothing long term i feel like that's just been a trend in my life so No long-term boyfriend so far, no boyfriends currently, uh, and I don't even have any crushes at the moment, which is insane. But it is what it is. Tell me everything about your love life. There's nothing much. Tell to say. me everything about your work life. Boring. You're quitting soon. Tell me how your mental health is. Really good. Tell me how your health is, like mentally, spiritually, and also physically. mentally really good you have all these tools at your disposal whenever you get into a depressive or anxious or sad mindset uh, so it's always like a roller coaster of emotions but you're able to come back to your baseline at very easy not easily but quicker than you could before and you have tools to manage it you spiritually you i think you've progressed a lot You don't believe in religion. I don't know if you were religious back then, but you don't believe in religion at all anymore. However, you still believe in like a higher power, manifestation, and physical health. 
weightlifting has been really good it's made you feel strong and accepting of your body weight and however your body is because it's so damn powerful and you are trying to get back into badminton uh, which is also like a big contributor to your physical health. You have started playing Oculus more and you just, you know, do a lot of stretches for your knee injury. So overall, you're just... And you've started cooking a lot more and focusing on feeding yourself nutritious food rather than depriving yourself of um, food just to lose calories and lose weight and all of that nonsense. Uh, this is such a long video. What else do you want to ask? Did you start therapy? Dude, if you haven't started therapy, Take it from me, you really need therapy. No matter how healthy your mental state is, I think you need a therapist. Just go sort that out. Oh, you did do it. How was the experience? I was so it scared was really about good. it. It just takes so much effort. It's like finding the right driving instructor, you know, but like 10 times harder. How is it? <laughs> yeah. It's way harder than driving. You got a driving license, can you believe it? You cannot believe it because you passed in your first try. You know how to drive a car now. Uh, but yeah, you did find a therapist. You've gone through a few therapists to understand what suits you. This is my most important question. Okay. Were you able to figure out how to make an impact in the world? You've always wanted to not find yet. out what your purpose in life is. How, why you were born and how you're going to contribute into making this world a better place? Yeah. Did you figure that out? No. Please you're still me. a bit young for that. Uh, you might have to think if more consciously. If you consciously. did, it's fine. I mean, it's fine, you know. But just remember that was really important to you. So if other priorities have taken place, that's fine. But like this meant a lot to you. So oh. maybe have a think about it. I will, I will. Thanks for reminding me. I think I've, like, again, I mentioned I've become a lot more selfish and me, 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 me uh, in, like, the last few years. So now that I have concentrated on myself, I feel like I have the capacity to now think about other people and maybe it will manifest itself into actually making a difference in other people's life rather than just solely focusing on myself. And I know it is important. I feel like it's a lot more Impo it was a lot more important to me back then when I was saying that than it is right now but it's still a huge goal and I still want to like leave a legacy behind or leave something that makes the world a better place before I die and I feel like I don't I can't wait for the time I die to do that I should just actively proactively work towards that from this moment in time so I needed that reminder and thank you for that reminder Okay, I'm gonna go now. I'm really, really thirsty and hungry. Me what too. Gonna go now? How's your diet like? Did you learn any it's new cooking? Food? Yeah, a lot. Did you learn dishes. any new recipes? Hello Fresh, Instagram cooking, so many more food you options. You always yeah. struggled with food. But it's good that you've never dieted. Like, you know, those traditional scammy diets. You did. You were better than that. You did diet, but you were so, like, afraid to even accept that. You used to restrict food and binge eat and overeat and then restrict. Bro, you're... What are you saying? You were so bad at dieting, but that's changed now. You don't look at food as, like, cal caloric content or a way for you to lose weight. You purely look at food as satisfying your taste buds and your stomach and providing nutrition to the different parts of your body especially your knee so food has become a more of a source of nutrition and satisfaction and enjoyment rather than anything else so in that sense you've improved a lot and you know a lot more dishes to cook and you're not afraid of eating anything um so that's that anyways it was nice talking to you ikra is there anything you want okay. to know about me? Not really. My current health is not you. that great, like mentally especially. I get too worked up about things, so that's not good. But one thing that I cherish is speaking to Amiapu. Like they've always been there. I hope you are taking care of them because oh. I really love them. Do you want to see some of your art that you did? I'll give you a room tour of this place, okay? Okay. Just so that you know how how you're living right now. Okay. It was nice talking to you. 
Yeah, it's nice Meet you in 10 years? Okay. Meet you in 20 years? 10 years, I'd say, yeah. Meet you in 15 years? Meet you in 5 years? <laughs> yeah, 10 years. I think the next time I'll do this is... when I, So right now I'm 25. I think the next time I'll record this is, obviously, if I'm alive, when I'm 35 years old and see how things have changed. But yeah, this was fun. Thanks for like recording this back then and... I don't know. I I hope I have the caliber to still record in the next 10 years. I am proud of you no matter what. Ikra, I love you. I love you too. It's so narcissistic. It's not. It's not. It's called self-love. All the best. Thank you. Is that it? Believe in yourself. Okay. <laughs> I know deep down that you believe in yourself but you're too ashamed to say it out proudly mm. stop doing that it's not cool at all okay yes why oh no i think these are just nah. like reactions that i wanted to yeah film. yep but what am i doing okay. <laughs> what wait really no that's crazy <laughs> Wow. Whoa. Oh my god. I'm not using any of those. How many? What? What, what do you mean? When? When? Why did I say how many? Like, for what question oh. would that be valid? Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Okay. Me too, me too, me too. I'm really tired. Bye. Thank you, George, for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I'll show you my doodles. Do you want to see the doodles? I thought we were ending By it. By the way, this is what... How's your YouTube set? If you do YouTube, oh how's God, your YouTube set up? Currently, you just use your phone, your microphone that Manoj gifted you. How's Manoj? Um, He's yeah, good, I so think. Hope I hope this video turns out to be good. It's it's weird. Okay, let's see. Let's show you some of your artwork that you did. Okay, I'm excited. Um, how do I show you this? So you currently have okay. So these are your adjustable dumbbells. Oops. These are your adjustable dumbbells. I really hope you still have them because you did, you had a such, you had such a good use out of them. I'll show it to you again. These are your dumbbells. That's your bed, which is a pretty bit messy. You're trying to drink a lot of water. So that's that. Um, what else? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. This is crazy. So this is your vision board pictures. It's the first time you want to try making a vision board. I don't know okay. how many of them would actually come true, but... Okay, I'm, I'm supposed to look there. I don't know how many are going to actually come true, but currently you have all that. You're planning to make a YouTube video about it anyway, so just like, whatever. That's a whole deal. Oh, that's your YouTube setup right now. Oh, I missed that. That was so nice. That was so nice. Do you remember this? Yeah. I have it. Wait, wait, wait. I have it. I'll bring it, I'll bring it. Cool. I have you it. You made with this. Me. Do you still have it with yourself? Um, what else? I don't know how how much of this stuff you still have. Like all your 5K. Did you run a 10K, a marathon, a half Just marathon? Just down to 5K. Oh my god. <laughs> so this was created. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, yeah. What else can I show you? Um, this is where you do your artwork. <laughs> this was the first time you created a macrame. I don't macrame. know how it's too macrame. fancy for me. Macrame. Let me change it here. Macrame. Like that. Made by, uh, taught to you by the SU. This is the current abstract painting you did. Okay, not bad. Um, I don't know what else to show you, you know? Oh, so, number of days left to leave your basement and never go back there again. And that's all your art oh, supplies. Nice. 
Okay, that's all. Bye.